What's up everybody, Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Just a short video to talk about tracking. Um, the snow is out here in New Hampshire and so especially after a new snow and then you know the next morning after a, uh, a nighttime when animals are out and active, it's a great time to come out and check tracks and also learn about tracks and work on your tracking skills. Just want to show you a couple things that maybe they'll be insightful when you're out checking out tracks and trying to figure out what kind of animals are out there in the woods. Okay, I'm about a foot off the snow here and these right here what we're looking at are squirrel tracks. So we've got, you can see the two tracks there and then the two smaller tracks kind of set in and this is often how you're going to find squirrel tracks when you see tracks like this especially ones that are worn down like this sometimes people confuse these with rabbit tracks one of the key ways you can tell is actually look at your direction of travel and where they're coming from and obviously if they go to a tree and then disappear it's not going to be a rabbit it's going to be a squirrel um, the other thing about rabbit tracks i'll just do it over here in the snow is that they often print like this one here one here the third and then the fourth is not next it's actually kind of back here like this now because these are gonna be the back feet kind of where they're landing as they're bounding through the snow these are gonna be bigger but you've got two side by side a third in the middle and then one a little bit diagonal so contrast that two and then the diagonal versus this two and two those are side by side and the big ones are side by side so that's just a quick way to tell the difference between rabbit tracks and squirrel tracks is look for the parallel and the diagonal versus the parallel and the parallel. These are underneath the tree so you can see them a little bit better as far as you know telling that they are squirrel tracks. We do have uh, some other another track over here but just look at again uh, right here let's see one two three four and you can see that those are squirrel tracks side by side two underneath side by side and then they're actually heading right toward a tree. This is pretty easy to identify but we got deer track, deer track, that one stepped in pretty deep, deer track, deer track, deer track deer track and if you haven't um, you know you, you've never gone out tracking and identified tracks before you can just look here you can that's a nice one you can see the two uh, see if we can get my finger in there the two hooves one and two so the deer tracks came through here if you weren't sure that they were deer now you know one thing about tracking is that it's really an art it's not a science there are facts that you can know but then you got to put the puzzle together so I've got some tracks here. They're very worn down from the fact that it snowed probably, you know, a handful of days ago and then it was warm. There was some uh, quite a bit of wind at one point, but I can tell most likely that these tracks by the size of the print and then also uh, how they're traveling and the fact that they're very straight in line. It's probably a fox. If you've ever seen fox tracks, they don't kind of do these like one foot and then another foot here and another foot here and another foot here. It's much more kind of a straight line. They are offset, but very little compared to uh, compared to other tracks. So let me show you those, uh, at least the line of travel at this point that you can see in the snow. So these tracks right here, let me point at them, right there, these are most likely fox tracks. And you can see when I stand on the tracks that they're not, it's not like one there and one there and one there and one there. They tend to walk very sleek, um, you know, very, they're not making a lot of, um, there's not a lot of width in their travel. So very slim, comes through here. This way, and some more other tracks. Look at these ones. Come off here, and then off down there to the water. And it doesn't look like any of these are going to be preserved enough for me to show you a very clear one. And you can see some of them down here. Maybe stop for a drink or something like that. And then there are actually some more over on the other side, kind of that way. So let's go check those out. Okay, so there's the water. It looks like it, the fox came around this way. And then you can see, let's see, right there, we're picking up the track again. And then it goes this way and then off. You can see a couple more right there. And then it basically goes right along where I've been walking. So I've already stepped on those tracks. But again, this is the art of figuring out what the animal is. It's not always just a, a one, two, three equation. You got to do a little thinking, see what you know about the animals in the area, and uh, put the pieces together. One last look here at some tracks. You can see the cinder block and a little frame here. I'm starting to put a platform out in the woods. But I've seen a possum come and feed at our um, at our compost bin. There's looking like, most likely is gonna be possum track. Very similar to raccoon, but I have not seen raccoons out here uh, really at all in the past year uh, near our, near our um, compost bin, but I've definitely seen um, possum and you can see how 
close together all the tracks are as they go underneath and then even back here the tracks looks like it's taking tiny tiny little steps that tends to be more of something a possum would do they don't move particularly in a particularly agile way so another look at some tracks possum coming to have dinner at our compost bin out here in the woods there you have it just some food for thought get you thinking about tracking in the woods and um there's some really good, I mean, there's tons of good resources out there when it comes to um, tracking and those types of things. Uh, you can hear the car from the distance. I'm basically right behind my house. So even though it looks pretty wild back there, we're right near the, uh, right near the road. But um, yeah, there's lots of good resources out there as far as tracking books. I've, um, I've got lots of different ones that I've gone to over the years. I do find that you gotta get one that has really good, either good pictures or really good drawings. If you get one that's like, this is kind of how they look, it's not super helpful. You wanna look and be like, okay, now I know what the standard is and I can start figuring out, you know, based on weathering and how the track has fallen in on itself, you know, what, uh, what track it is. But anyhow, uh, yeah, if you got questions about tracking and stuff like that, certainly shoot me a message or shoot me a message at email or leave a comment down below and we'll get the discussion started. Thanks for checking out the video guys and uh, Maybe our next snowfall we'll head out early and uh, see what kind of tracks we can find. All right, take care.